Thousands of runners hitting the pavement in Boston today for the 121st Boston Marathon. And today's winners were first time marathon runners from Kenya. Joffrey Karui won the men's race with an official time of two hours, nine minutes. In the women's race, Edna Kiplagan clocked in at two hours, 21 minutes. There were increased security measures in place for today's marathon. In Wellesley, police were on alert for runners without proper credentials entering the race route. Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods has been at the marathon all day long and joins us now with more on the safety measures. Now, in addition to the full list of items no longer allowed on the marathon route this year, security made sure that bandit runners weren't able to jump in. Since the bombing, there's definitely been an increase in, uh, um, you know, in, in law enforcement. As rowdy spectators spent this beautiful April day cheering on the Boston Marathon runners, law enforcement from all over the country were keeping a close eye on the route. Security on the route has tightened up, you know, drastically over the years. And that means one Boston Marathon tradition is no longer an option. You know, I've been, um, you know, watching this marathon for 40 years, and you'd have 10,000 runners just jumping on the route to run the route. And now they, unless you're registered uh, with a number, you know, you can't run the route or just jump on, they'll pull you from the route. Running as a bandit, meaning without a registered number, was a common trend for runners who couldn't make their qualifying time but wanted to experience the incredible energy of this race. I just like this environment is good enough for me. I don't feel it necessary to like go and run as well. But now, if you ever did have the urge to jump in, security is so tight, a potential bandit runner could face serious consequences. Could be arrested for there's a disorderly conduct kind of you know thing that you know if um, that if someone is totally you know disobeying you know a, a police command to to be there that they ultimately could be arrested. Do you get arrested for it? Yeah. Wow. So far, there's no word on how many people exactly they had to stop from jumping over these barricades and running the 26.2 mile route today. With the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News. And stay with Eyewitness News and WPRI.com as our coverage of the 2017 Boston Marathon continues. Coming up at 5.30, we'll have more on a group of state troopers running in today's marathon. And then at 6, we'll hear from some Rhode Islanders on today's events.